contract work in both the public and private sectors, docking of salaries, pensions and gratuities as well as a local bank's alleged tactics in disadvantaging workers will greatly impact the atmosphere at the upcoming May Day celebrations. TUC President Senator Andrew Lewis says in this light they are urging all workers to turn out as they send a resounding message to employers that workers' rights must be respected. Meanwhile, the Trade Union Council, while applauding the move to provide housing for the courts, is demanding that government guarantee that taxpayers' money not go into the personal coffers of CLECO. We are demanding that these monies go towards meeting the costs or reimbursing our local citizens who have been robbed of the monies by the failure of CLECO. So we want to repeat, we applaud the move to find housing for the local courts. This is long overdue. At the same time, we want to ensure that taxpayers' money are not being used to the benefit of CLECO. Lewis impresses that they are not against the courts being housed in the building. However, he believes governments should follow the examples of neighboring countries who have protected their citizens affected by CLECO. Right, so it is for the authorities to take our concern. And I can't see how they would have any difficulty with our concern. In other words, our money that goes towards the Clico building rent must not go offshore, right? Or must not go to offset any other liabilities that Clico have outside of, first and foremost, the persons and the ordinary working people. Take the Seaman Workers Union, for instance. Our comrades in the Seaman and Waterfront Workers Union have lost millions of dollars. These are ordinary working people. The TUC, as part of the celebration, should have paid tribute and respects to past presidents of the Trade Union Council at the Center and Top Cemetery this afternoon in St. George's and St. David. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.